All right, hey everybody. Good afternoon. I forgot to fix our cameras from earlier, and I just got startled by stupid fucking Nicholas Cage cat. God damn it! <clears throat> How you doing, Zombie Grove? I'm all right. I want to pretend. Nap. I want to pretend like this morning didn't happen. Okay. So welcome to the first cast of the day, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen. Because <laughs> I think that's about how that works. Uh, we're going to be getting the games soon. The brackets should be finalizing as I speak. It's a little bit smaller than expected. In fact, it's about the same size as the Korean bracket, but that's okay. Uh, a couple of decent names still made it through the check-in phase. Major, Drunken Boy, Cuddle Bear, uh, Juggernaut Jason. Oh, I'm sorry, Panda Bear Me didn't show up. Um, but yeah. Right there. On the, the bracket, please. No, hit refresh. I just did. Maybe I need to hit refresh. He's facing Myth Render. Wait, what? Am I looking at the right one? Maybe. I feel like not. <laughs> oh, I guess I wasn't. It says season two NA two. Yeah, but it's actually season second. two NA one. Yeah, <laughs> that's well, my bad. The second qualifier is still to come. Uh, yeah. So, for anyone else who may be under that same confusion. But, yep. Yeah, uh, so, we'll be getting into this in just a moment's time. Again, it does seem like we've got some pretty favorable matchups, but <laughs> I do kind of want to grab um, either Drunken Boy for his round two match or maybe some Juggernaut Jason in round one. I don't know who Gas 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 is, but Juggernaut Jason's been showing some promise lately. Kind of cool to catch up and camera. Sure. Uh, I have no objection. <laughs> well, I'll leave it to you to figure it out. Uh, of course, reminding everybody who wasn't here earlier, because earlier didn't happen. Uh, technically, it did, I guess. But the map pools have been matched to the ladder pool. So the first set of qualifiers we had with uh, Korea, Europe, and Wildcard were not matched to the current ladder pool. Those things, those things. <laughs> ah. But the current maps uh, have King Sejong Station and Frost both in. Although, I gotta say, all we've been seeing consistently has been King Sejong Station and uh, Dust Towers, and then like whatever random offshoot players are feeling comfortable with. So, yeah. I wouldn't be surprised if we saw all that for today. If that's the case, though, that like. That seems like a very boring tournament. <laughs> uh, well. Oh, I see what was happening earlier is happening again. Fantastic. Oh, is it? Oh, that's good news. Only once so far. Only once. Cross our fingers and hope it was a small thing. Okay. By the uh, way, you were looking fantastic with, what is that, white? or? Yeah, it's white. Okay, now here's here's where you're going to give me shit. Were you wearing this earlier? or Because I thought you were wearing something gray. It was. I was wearing my pajamas earlier. Oh, okay. There you go. <laughs> that's right. Well, 5 a.m. to cast. Makes sense. Because the last time we did this, I got caught off guard by it. But I was like, no, not again. I will. <laughs> not again. Um. Well, I, I don't know who Gas 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 is, as in I don't know if you consider her name online. Um. I, don't, I don't even know if Juggernaut Jason has an opponent, technically. Um, looks like we had a person show up that wasn't supposed to, and a fast is disqualified. Yeah, we have, uh, regional sections listed on this, too. So, like, this isn't North America, and, like, you can play some guesswork on whether it's North America. You have to actually be living in Canada, United States, or Mexico. So, for example, that's why No Regret can't play in this. Not because it's Korea and it's late, but it's because he's literally living in Korea and not, not America. Um. Oh, did the bracket change? Uh, I think no. I don't. I don't think Seven's ever like checked in. Oh, for them, it didn't. It didn't. Okay. We're facing you. We're casting you. All right. So, Juggernaut Jason versus Unji. Unji. 
We'll get that going in a moment. Of course, uh, again, quick shout outs to our sponsors of today's event. That is going to be covered by Ting. Ting is a U.S. mobile phone service available only in America and the United States. So if you are not from there, like example myself, you will not be able to use their services directly. However, you can get SIM cards, take them to the States, travel, and probably save money. As I, I can like actually verify now, not only was the service fine, but like when we went to the States, I would have paid something like $7 a day for my roaming. Whereas with Ting, it was like nothing even close to that. Mm. So it's pretty nice to swap out the card. My problem is I didn't realize you needed something so fucking tiny, like tinier than a paperclip to actually poke out the SIM card though. So I get to the airport and I'm like, well, I guess I'm not using the SIM card for a while. You never taken your SIM card out before? I've never had to. Hmm. Hmm. I forget why I had to, but I, I definitely remember that. All right, we'll see if the intros work today, too. If we have any issues and any glitches, I'm just going to skip over map intros today, guys, because this, this morning that didn't happen was not a good start to the day. So uh, I've got Dust Towers queued up. Mm-hmm. But ready whenever the uh, the players are. So casting Juggernaut Jason versus Gas, Gas, Gas. Okay. Here we go. I'll uh, see you guys on the intro. All right, getting into that load screen, almost into the game. First map being Dust Towers. This is going to be a TVT here for the Ting North American Qualifiers. It's the first set of North American Qualifiers. We had a little bit of an awkward hustle and bustle around some of the other scheduled stuff that happened, but uh, this was supposed to be the second qualifier. This is actually going to be the first one of two, so we still have another entire qualifier after this. Two players will get through today, and spawning in the upper right side, we've got the Blue Terran, Jason. In the bottom left, as the pink Terran, he is Yunji. <clears throat> so close to Genji. Almost. See what his clan tag is really stupid. I'm actually going to hide that. All right, so <laughs> Jason, <clears throat> I actually want to give a shout out, not just to him, but more importantly to our fans. We hosted him the other night after a stream, and we just expected it to be another average host of like a decent player playing StarCraft. You know, maybe they appreciate the views, maybe they don't. Jason was really accommodating, polite, nice, welcome to our viewers, and they in turn replied to him very well and helped him actually finish his fundraising for a whole new computer. Uh, I think he had like a $500 goal or something like that. So, uh, really good on you, Bay Straight TV fans. Thank you for being so awesome and helping those in need. Good on ya. Well, it's a TPT, and unfortunately, Yunji is already, uh, I guess, not, not certain that he'll win. Um, these Masters, and of course, Jason is, at this point, with this bracket, probably a contender He's vacation spot. <clears throat> He's unfortunately, though, you're forgetting this, nothing more than a stream-cheating, map-hacking scumbag, according to our Lord and Savior, Avilo. Oh, well, okay, isn't that everyone? <laughs> Yeah, so I guess we have to disqualify <laughs> everybody. Actually, uh, do I'm pretty we, sure he's called me one before. Do we do we just pause the game, or like, what do we? How do we tell him that you're disqualified? <laughs> like, how do we do this? <laughs> oh uh -huh. no, I guess we wouldn't pause the screen stream. We would just yell really loudly, be obnoxious, break a bunch of t Twitch TOS, and that's how we disqualify him. Oh, snap. getting real up here. Actually, realer than even this morning. <laughs> actually, I got a PSA about this because this is something I really hope people do. When Avila calls somebody else a stream cheater or a hacker that's streaming, that apparently actually falls under defaming this like another Twitch streamer, which is actually against the Twitch rules. And that streamer should like always report somebody who does that. So I know that um, anytime Avila starts spewing shit about this channel, I've always reported him. Now that I know I'm allowed to, and uh, I think other people should too. <laughs> Anyways, he's not here. Let's not give him too much attention. Uh, Jason is going to lose one of his SCVs building the factory. Kind of annoying. He just hit his reaper across the map, but rather than continue moving forward, has chosen to come back home, which isn't a bad choice. He's got to deal with this reaper. Cannot ignore it. it. Looks like with his second reaper, he'll actually just catch this on the fly. Yep. A massacre. Oh, that's game. That's game over. 
Yeah, yeah. Uh, again, just like disqualifying them. What do we do? Do we pause the game? Do we tell them, hey, you, you just lost the game? Do you know that you lost the game? Yeah. Uh, actually, so losing the one Reaper to two Reapers, it's just, it's, just, it's a surprise. Like, not many Terrans are going to go for only two Reapers. <laughs> I mean, the very least, it's three, right? So I agree with you, but the way you just phrased it, you made it sound like a, like a birthday gift. Like, it was a surprise. surprise. Like, I don't know. If I, I thought I, you'd I, like it. I don't know about that, but... Um, so it's it's not super super big problem. Um, it is unfortunate though that I guess his scouting wasn't as thorough as it could have been. I didn't see the third CC, uh, for instance, um, which only puts the starport like so far behind Unji, uh, who is going for a drop, I guess, of Hellenes and what was hoping, or a Hellene and Marines, but not wow. anymore. Wow, those Reapers actually just did way more than they should have. Now the Marines, if they give them any second to get those combat drugs going, yeah, they would have actually wrecked all the four or even five of the Marines, but Unji actually gets on top of them pretty quickly, and very important, he didn't let those heal. That was something that gets pretty snowball-y. Mm -hmm. uh, both players go for Cyclones, so playing a little bit safe. I mean, I understand it for Jason's perspective. You're going for the third command center so early, you need that early game defense. I don't know that Unji's in that position, but he's going to play it safe nonetheless, perhaps a little bit worried of a Banshee or such. But the thing is, he didn't well, scout a second gas, and he didn't see the starport ever start. So this really is just blind fear. It is. It's a good read if you don't see a third CC. I, and I mean, say it's like a fine read. Obviously, if you had seen the third CC, that would have been more, more ideal, or you, you recognize the lack of a gas. But it still could have been a drop from Jason. If not, you know, it probably was going to be the, the Banshee opener and the Cyclone would have been necessary. But if he had got to the third CC, then yeah, he could have either gone for his own third CC much sooner, as he's doing right now, obviously very, very late, or just, you know, went for a tank into the Cyclone. Because the Cyclone's going to be great for catching, like, one medevac. It's not going to be great in the mid to late game, like catching a Doom Drop or going with the army. Cyclones just aren't going to be very helpful. So, uh, quick question for you. <clears throat> Did you actually end up coming from the future, or was your father just a Terminator? How's that work? Why would my father be a Terminator? That doesn't oh, make any it's sense. Just, you're, such, you're so robot -y. I'm just trying to figure out how that would Do you mean, is my father, like, hunted by a Terminator? Because I'm pretty sure Terminators can't have children. Really? From personal experience of being one? I guess you're right. That would make a lot of sense. So you've just paradoxically proven my point. No, I just think that you've got your wires crossed on what movie. You sure seem to know a lot about wires and robots, I'm just saying. I think, you know, my secret of the vampire got out pretty early. I think we're now finding out your secret here and now. I, I've always been a robot. I never laugh. I never smile. Literally doing so, both right now, trying to cover that up. I see through your lies. Chat, chat has always been correct. That's why I ban all those people that say I should smile more. The P in base trade TV doesn't stand for professionalism. It stands for processing power. PP. <laughs> you want to talk about PPs? <laughs> I blame you. Okay. Well, <laughs> just don't kill me. I guess we'll be okay, Skynet. Ring in the middle of the fight. map takes that fight for Jason just barely, so cleans up some of the scouting. Now Unji's going to be a little bit worried because this drop isn't powerful enough to do damage or even draw the army back home. And with that Marine having died, he doesn't know whether Jason's moving out or not. Uh, I guess probably going to wait for that third medevac at least to pick up a tank before he does anything. I got to say, though, I'm, I'm pretty sad Long and Gone seem to be the days of that, like, two tank, eight Marine drop. Kind of uh, made popular by Demuslim and some others back in Heart of the Swarm. I still use it plenty of times in TBT, and I, f I feel like it's a perfectly fine attack. I never don't get damage done with it. But the pros well, the pros have figured something out, and nobody goes for it anymore. I was going to say, like, anything can really work in, in Master's League. <laughs> um, <laughs> Excuse you, but take what? me for a moment of, like, my, my lack of ego out of the equation. It's not about Master's League versus not. It's just about, mechanically speaking, like... That is something that can trade out well, something we've seen pros do that I've also tried well, to do. So there's like two aspects of the spectrum, not just like, oh, just Rifkin's Masters League, terrible games. Well, I mean, not to really like, start, you know, start an argument, but here we go, right? Let's start like, this. Let's start this, let's, Google. Let's Hit this. me up. The reason you don't see it in Legacy of the Void, and I have to imagine it's based off of the pacing of the game that is that is new and updated since Heart of the Swarm. Your your income comes faster in the beginning. You get a bit of an accelerated start. Usually the game goes to a third CC pretty quickly, as was the Heart of the Swarm, which had a lot of two-base uh, builds and, of course, a lot of one-base <clears throat> openers that ended very quickly, like on Merry-Go-Round. So I imagine that's why... 
it stopped being effective. It just did not pair up well with the timing. Maybe and... it's actually it's 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 more of a point you make there with the third base that is interesting because we haven't seen a lot more third base builds and a lot less people sticking on those two base all ins. I definitely feel like, especially when you watch players like Drunken Boy and Masa and some of these other NA Terran, you'll see those two base builds get the damage done to allow them to get a third to get ahead. And those are the types of builds I'm a fan of personally, and like watching. Uh, but I also is... think that just um, Doom Drops in general have become less popular, which is why my TVT win rate has increased. Because <laughs> I sucked against Doom Drops in Heart of the Swarm, where I couldn't respond with better tank drops or tank drops in general. Um, so I really don't think they have as much staying power as they did in Heart of the Swarm, where if you got two tanks sieged up in the back of a, of a natural or something, it did look like it was, you know, almost always game over. Um, but we all know, like, we know oh. specifically that most Terrans are... Like, whatever reason, are never good at tank drops. No, and that's, what's, that's what I find so astounding. But more on that comment later. Quick shout outs got to go to Liquid Mana. Thank you for the host, man. I hope you had a great stream today, and hello to Mana's viewers. I don't know if there's any good Protoss in the bracket, actually, at a glance, but uh, we do have a fairly so. small North American bracket today, so thank you for joining us, or joining us, excuse me, here on the broadcast, as I do hope you'll be enjoying yourself. There we go. There's Saved it. Freezing. Uh, macro, macro, macro. Jason's got a lot of units. He's down in upgrades currently. So, NG has that one small thing going for him, but I guess upgrades don't make up for the lack of combat shields. And if Jason can take advantage of a fight in the next 15 seconds. He'll have a very decisive advantage, but not wanting to push in, not wanting to risk it, just playing it safe for the time being. Mm-hmm. And she's really not doing a bad job here. I mean, Dusk Towers is going to be a map where, okay, your, your highest chance is to get to a third CC and both maxed out. So great to see him this far. I actually, I don't know, I don't know about Jason if he's trying to do this. Um, we'll see. How many shells is a pretty good thing, but unfortunately, as we see, so is tank fire. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I think tank fire was a lot better, and Common Shields did just finish up for NG, so there's a couple of Marines to help out. Uh, that traded pretty evenly. Um, almost exactly even evenly. I think it's still a little bit better for Jason, mostly just because his fourth is actually on location, finished, and becoming a planetary. Yeah. So, while this may trade out evenly oh, in terms no. of like what? cost of units... Okay, this what? is... The, what? what? <laughs> Uh, yeah, and I'm supposed to drop in front of the tanks. Do you think his name is a result of something he says when he makes a mistake like that? In Jesus. In Jesus. <laughs> no, I'm sorry. I shouldn't be teasing, but unfortunately, that was a bad mistake at NG. Just kind of unloading in front of the tanks for free. If he's unloading on the tanks, then that's a whole nother topic, but still. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> is Is a hot dog a sandwich? It is meat between two buns. So a lot of things are sandwiches, eh? Doing the eyebrow thing, but I realize stream can't what if, see it. What if you so... get a vegetarian sandwich at Subway? There's no meat between a bun. Well, I think that's perfectly fine. It's 2016 and ladies can do what they'd like. <laughs> so is it just a bread taco? <laughs> oh my god, you're blowing my mind right now. I choose... Top half mermaid, bottom half taco. <laughs> okay, we're done. Triple drop, um, go to the main. Her processor's <clears throat> all screwed up after I called her out, okay, guys. This is why she's not making sense. Uh, this is going to destroy that tank. This is the only real form of defense. Lots of SCVs going to go down for this. Jason also has like an Im impassable, unbreakable tank line outside of Inji's base. He's going to win this fight thanks to combat shields. A little bit behind in upgrades, though. So that one level of armor helping out Inji quite a bit, but not enough to overcome three metavacs. He is pushing yeah. on the other side of the field with his drops, but with a planetary fortress and siege tanks and sensor towers, I just can't see him getting past Jason's defense. Yeah, this, this, his counter's not really going to do very much, and this takes a lot of damage. 20 SCVs brings you down to not actually a terrible amount with his minerals mining out, but because he doesn't have a fourth base, it's all it's all bad for him anyway. <clears throat> Tries to pick up and actually drop, get to the natural. Uh, probably should have tried to get the natural. There you go. Uh, we have a secret base. Oh, okay, this yeah, may be a sense. secret base. It may also have just been chased up here this entire time. I don't actually know. <laughs> I'm not Jason, sure. Either. Jason's had things on lockdown pretty much this whole game. Although, again, he might just be a map hacker, so could be how he found it. Tanks on siege actually do a surprisingly good amount of damage, as we see from those back lines. And Jason will take game number one. 
here on the very first cast of the day. This best of three for the Ting Open North American Qualifiers. Uh, what map do we have next? Ruins of Endion. Okay, let me go get the intro loaded for that. Fun fact, this intro is done by Sadbot. My cousin? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that was that was an easy one. That was a freebie. <laughs> Anyways. <clears throat> okay, so w would you rather be mm. Jessica Kana or Sarah Trinega? That's a good question. Actually, I, as much as I don't really enjoy the name Jessica, I don't think Sarah is much better. So I would go with Jessica Kana. Someone clip that and send it to a cipher ASAP, please and thank you. To a cipher. <laughs> <laughs> I'm ready to go. One of the players are Ruins of Andy on intro, let it up. Let's cross our fingers and hope nothing breaks. See you guys here in a moment. Or maybe, where is this? There we go. Welcome back. Game number two in this best of three continues here for the Ting Open North American Qualifiers. Again, brought to you guys by Ting. And if you live in the United States, you should at least check out the website, bttv.ting.com. But before we do intros, this is a really important question we need to answer. Oh, yeah? And apparently now there's three options that make sense instead of two. Is the opposite of a hot dog a salad, a hot cat, or a cold cat? See... I've always thought the opposite of a hot dog is a hamburger, because that's the two options you would ever have. That's not the opposite. That's like the brother. That's like the parallel too. I know, but like for me, it was always like the opposite, because like they'd always be like hot dog or hamburger. Like really? they're totally different things. You gotta choose. So as much as I want to give you crap for this, I can actually see that logic, even though it is totally wrong <laughs> in every way. Also, I like cold cold hot dogs when I was younger. So wait, hang on. By that logic, would a the opposite of a fork be a spoon? Yes. But that would actually be the opposite. Something that lets lets through through the gaps, and something that doesn't. <laughs> I can't. <laughs> God damn it! All right, ladies and gentlemen, so welcome we back. Drinking right now or? <laughs> Chopsticks. We haven't gotten any less silly after a nap. <laughs> In the bottom right side of the map, it's gonna be the blue chair and player. Juggernaut Jason. Thanks, Nova War, for the four month resub. In the bottom left, as the pink Darren, it is Yunji. And thank you, SoCal714, for the three month resub. Woo! You think it's called SoCal because it's like So California? <laughs> Your chat said something like, oh no, Stomachup's turning to Rifkin. I thought we thought that would be a good thing, but this is a bad thing. This is a very bad thing. <laughs> the blonde hair has ruined you. You need to go back to brown ASAP. Oh, I'm funny. SoCal. No, clearly it stands for South California, man. Okay, here's the question for you then. In British Columbia, there's Coquitlam and there's Port Coquitlam. So to abbreviate it, Call it Poco. Why would it be called Poco, Zombie Grub? What is the original name? Coquitlam. <laughs> <laughs> Are you high? Like, what is happening to you today? <laughs> I don't know. That's a dumb name. Like, it's not just me, right? <laughs> wow. Wow. This is. I'm offended. I don't think I've heard it, like, a stupider name. We got. Are you kidding me? We got places named Squamish. Squamish is a stupid <laughs> name. And Squamish is a terrible place that you have to go like, through to get to Whistler. Like Fuck regular Squamish. regular names in Virginia. Williamsburg, Leesburg. <laughs> you just like Bergs. And hamburgers, apparently. <laughs> <laughs> the opposite of Papa. It would be Williams Dog if that was his preference, but instead it was Williamsburg. <laughs> but okay. 
Reaper gets to the main. Uh, might actually be able to block out the factory, or at least chill underneath the styrofoam and prevent the medevac from coming out. Nah, it's not going to have enough time as the Marines are still at home, so just kind of dancing around and doing some damage. Oh, that's awkward, getting caught in the cast. Oof. Oh. Oof, let's just highlight that more. This is like... This is like when you get caught picking your nose in public, you're just like, oh, I hope that person's not recording this. Oh shit, that's a phone, isn't it? Wow, that person shouldn't be recording you. <laughs> At all. What were they doing? Actually, there's that disgusting, you see that thing, there's like a, I don't know if it's CSGO or what, but it's like one of those groups of five things, like the guy in the middle totally went to scratch his balls and smelled his finger afterwards and it was all on camera. Yeah. I would just die. I would just die if that <laughs> happened. There would be no like, aha, laugh it <laughs> off, boys. I would just die if just that happened to me. Just come back and haunt some some people's Skype conversations. <laughs> Unfriended. <laughs> Terrible movie. Never watch that movie if you have the option. That and do not watch The Brothers Grimsby if you ever have an option for that either. Both terrible okay. movies. I wasn't planning on it, so... All right, this medevac's really low from that Wood of Mine hit earlier. It looks like Jason set up pretty much along this ledge, assuming that there's going to be a follow-up to this. And, I mean, there will be. It's a Banshee, but the medevac... Actually, might unload here in the natural. Luckily, the SUVs can pull to the bunker. The command center can always lift. In fact, actually, with the siege tank being positioned, this looks not too bad. Yeah, it's not bad at all. And it is up to Yunji to kind of either do damage here or provide enough harassment and pressure that the third base he's making on location doesn't get killed. But with the medevac going down, I guess that's not going to happen. Uh, that's another thing you hope you don't get caught on camera. <laughs> what? The, the meta man getting picked off like that. You're just like, oh, don't look, don't look. It's it's uh, happening, but look, just accept it. Move on, guys. Casters, yeah. please. Nah, it, it's understandable. I mean, Unji kind of, we haven't had to talk about this for a while, but there's a certain degree of pressure when you stream. And if this is a guy who hasn't done a lot of playing on a stream before, and, you know, again, he kind of mentioned he wasn't feeling super hot about his rank either. I'm first off, just want to extend, like, Unji, if you watch these VODs, man, I'm really glad you came out to play. Whether your master's freaking diamond or whatever, like, we always just love having people play in our events. Right now we're going through issues where pro players won't even play in our events, technically. <laughs> Gumiho. <clears throat> so, oh. trust me when I say we appreciate it, and I hope you don't take any of our words too harshly, because we were just trying to have some fun with the, uh, the small mistakes made here and there. Sure. Well... Uh, Jason has an extremely large army supply lead. And why are you continuing with this California thing in chat? Like, why are you oh. so proud of this? It was an okay pun. Okay. It was all right. Why are you continuing? No, it was amazing, first of all. But second of all, because people didn't laugh. They were like, oh, I guess she really doesn't know. It means Southern California. <laughs> <laughs> I'm done. I'm done. We're two <laughs> games into the so first Cal best of so three. Yeah, no cow is just no California. <laughs> yeah, no cow would be like Kansas or something, no. right? Arkansas? Like, that's no cow. It'd be Canada. There'd be no chill. No California. Heat. Can Canada's full of chill. It's not full of heat. Actually, it is today. Oh, man. I've got my AC cranked up to max. All right. <laughs> Tank fire inside the base gonna hold against the first wave of Marines, but the reactor gets picked off pretty quick. That tank is gonna get pounced on right away. Second tank's in position. Jason, unfortunately, is kind of losing out on his fodder. Picks up on one of these tanks and just decides to try and get out of there. Not a great attack out of him. No, not great at all. Not not good at all. He loses out on what was a really, really, really large army supply lead, but still obviously has one with 12 um, army supply here and there and with his next attack he'll have better upgrades too uh stim and combat shields so still definitely in jason's lead but the fact that yunji got away with the third cc uh -oh. it's actually building scvs that was oh that was um so that's another <laughs> thing you hope you don't get seen on stream one is repairing with all oh, of your scvs oh, oh no he lifted his natural command center what the fuck? <laughs> Jason! Hashtag good guy Jason. Yo, he saw that hey, AFK mule hey. with the scout earlier and he's like, I don't, I can't. I'm like, as a Canadian, I can't let my fellow player feel bad about this. I gotta make mistakes too, so the casters point them out. So lifting both his CCs, pulling all the SCVs to repair. Uh, actually, I wanna look at the graph for that. Look at, look at, by the way, Inji's income spike the second he lifted the CCs. Amazing. Jason, please. He's such a good guy. What a good guy. Oh, Canada. Uh, it's, I don't know, the, the manners are just in our genetics, I guess. The manners? <laughs> yeah, okay. Uh, this is now game. This is a, a now successful drop after the initial pretty bad one. So. Yeah, it's a shame because he really, he, he got away with his third CC. Income was never the problem there for Inji. Um, 
But uh, GG, as Jason will take the first best of three today. Mm -hmm. Woo. He'll move on to fight against either Terran and Up or Mr. Bubbles Dick. Uh, this donation... Oh my god, is that really a fucking name? <laughs> I can't believe I just read that. Um, we, we've got a donation from early I want to read before we read this one. Because uh, Hard Revenge at the end of last stream donated something that was going to spur some discussion. So... Um, I'm going to read this out now. We'll probably talk about it if there's some downtime later. But he donated $10. says, The pros who try to juggle many things over your tournament are not respecting your time. So it's understandable if you want to just move on without them and restrict them from future events. Because there are other pros who would gladly take those spots. Uh, so again, thank you for that donation. This was at the end of the cast earlier today. We had missed it because we got offline and, you know, stream delay and all that stuff. But $5 comes in just now from not Skynet. Yes, Rifkin. Zombergrub is the robot. You're so smart to see that. Now that you have identified the only robot... There is. You can focus all of your attention on her and not Fear Dragon because he is not a robot, <laughs> unlike Zombie Grub. That's rather suspicious to me. I don't know. But at the same time, it did compliment me and call me smart, so... <laughs> it must be true. <laughs> it must be true. All right. <laughs> Nobody like that. Nobody could lie like that. Over the internet? Mm-mm. <laughs> Alright, small break while we get this next series sorted. We'll figure out what we're casting next, and we'll see you guys in a couple minutes. Thanks for watching, we'll see you soon.